This channel and the Captain Falco brand is intended for late teens and adults. Anyone under the age of 13 should not be watching my content. The new Tall Tale is not only an awesome addition to the chapters we can work through, but also offers some great cosmetics as the rewards. The awesome Sword of Souls, aka the Needle Saber, and these awesome Ashen Dragon Sails that you can get for completing all Tall Tale commendations. So look no further than this video for how to get it all done to fly these sails on your journeys. Hey, you beautiful buccaneers, Falcor here. So first of all, in case you didn't already know, this tall tale is started at Shipwreck Bay in the Wreck of the Black Witch. Interacting with a book starts the tall tale, and this awesome mustache attached to a ghost sets the story. But before leaving his domicile, be sure to read the first journal entry in the same cabin. Once leaving, you will notice some ghost ships east on the horizon. You need to follow the path these ships took by getting close to them, and then finding the new location once they fart back into the cosmos. But as you're doing this, be sure to head over to Shiver Retreat to find the second journal entry for your commendations. It can be found on top of these barrels beneath the largest rock. Head back to following the ships, and eventually you'll see the Ashen Dragon docked near an island. This island can change between sessions, but the general aesthetics always look the same. Dive down to the half-sunken ship and equip your Ferryman Torch. It will show the last moments of the crew's life as you passed, and the third, Martha, you can see falling to the ocean floor, and right near her astral body you can find her skull. Pick it up and head toward the shoreline where you will see Pendragon standing. Hand it to him and let him do his business. After a brief in-game cutscene, your book will have a new page that will either point you towards Kraken's Fall or Fetcher's Rest. In this case, my destination was Fetcher's Rest. But before you visit either of these islands, be sure to go to Liar's Backbone for your third journal entry. This can be found next to a large tree at the top of the island. And also head to Tri-Rock Isle, which is pretty close, to find your first artifact. To do this, once on the island, locate a ghostly digging skeleton using your ferryman torch, and dig at the spot that he is digging. Now head towards Kraken's Fall or Fetcher's Rest, depending on what your journal tells you. And when you get close, look around for another ghost ship. The same as before, follow the trail of the ghost ship as it farts in and out of existence. Eventually, it will lead you to an island where the ship is moored. Get off your boat and once again use the ferryman lantern to find the astral projections of the spirit's demise. Once at its final resting spot, dig in the area where his ghost is to locate the second skull. Hand this skull to Mr. Mustache and once again let him do his thing. Now before we carry on with nothing to lose on board, let's go grab the rest of those artifacts. Travel to Cinder is is Cinder is hang on a second. Islet. Okay. Travel to Cinder Islet and Curse Water Shores, using your Ferryman Lantern like before to locate the skeleton and dig up the artifacts. They can be sold, but you don't need to do so to complete the commendation. Just digging them up is enough. Now let's head back to Scorch Pass to pick up the fourth journal entry. This one can be found southeast of the island on top of a small rock. Now take a look at your journal. You will have a new page which has an island circled. Using your ship's map, locate which island this is, and then head toward it. And pray to god this island doesn't have an active volcano like mine. And when close, you'll see the ghost ship once again. Follow it. This quest always ends at Flintlock Peninsula, so if you lose the ghost ship, just head there. Once there, you will see the Ashen Dragon moored up, and once again using your Ferryman Torch, you can see what appears to be a skeletal funeral procession. But before we do this, let's find our fifth and final journal entry, which can be located on this island. Head to the northeast volcano side of the island and locate this beacon at the top of a rock formation. Turn 180 degrees and head towards these barrels. You can find the book sitting on top of a bench. 
Now let's head back to the skeletal funeral procession. Follow the footprints up the shoreline and into the island, and they will take you into this cave. Pendragon will open the door for you, and once inside, using your torch, you will see the skeletons are resting the coffin at some sort of ritual area. Put down the torch and open the coffin, and take the skull, and... It's a trap! I'll leave the rest for you to figure out. I don't want to spoil this epic ending. But there you go. Now just do the tall tale two more times and you can be the proud owner of these awesome sails. What did everyone think of this new tall tale? Please leave your comments down below. That's it for today folks, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video then please hit that like button, and if you really like the video please hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell so you're always notified when I upload. And if you're looking for ways to support me please head over to my Patreon page where I offer tiers that give you perks for your support. Link is in the pinned comments below. Until next time, take care of yourself and happy sailing. Bye bye.